Hi everyone, Jason here reminding you to like and subscribe to our channel for more supporter news. It really helps us out. And now, on with the show. Welcome to another edition of Hear the Noise. I'm Ted Godwin at Centennial Stadium at the University of Victoria. We're here with Bradley Vliet. Bradley. Can we talk about this game? How did it feel getting out there to play today? Of course, uh, yeah, long off season, four yep. months, and uh, you know, happy to be uh, on the pitch again. Team, yeah, train with with the team uh, first match, and I think uh, it was to learn. Uh, yeah, we learn a lot out of this game, and I think you know it was it was a good first match. And how do you feel you're fitting in with the team? Yeah, good, good. Uh, everybody was you know welcome. Uh, my first days are pretty good. You know, everybody is is good for me, and you know I feel really, fit, yeah, very, very like happy to be here. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, you've obviously, uh, you grew up in the Netherlands, is yeah, that right? Yeah, of course, of course. And uh, you, so you played a lot of football there yeah, as a yes, youth? So yes, yes, I was five what's, years old. What, what's the difference in terms of uh, training that you find between the Dutch style um, and here? Yeah, in, in the Netherlands we train a lot more. It's yeah. like three days, three days, not, uh, three times a week. Or not like in one day, three times. Mm -hmm. So here's more one, one time, but it's, and also like the statistics a little bit, and I think the levels, uh, yeah, a little bit higher than uh, than here, but I think that is normal because, like, it's in Europe, you know, and Europe is like it's a soccer land. Yep. So yeah, but it seems like diff like the same in uh, than, than in Europe. Now uh, you, you got uh, you got DJ who's obviously come from yeah, the Netherlands yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are you? Is he showing you the town? Is he showing you how things? Yeah, work yeah. I've, I knew the town already uh, like a little bit because um, like a good friend of me, Dos Santos, was playing here last year and also like a couple of games away uh, with, with Calvary. So. I saw the city a little bit, but yeah, DJ helped me a lot, and I've of course Amen uh, Seluf, but the other guys helped me also a lot. So, it's, excellent. Uh, it's good. And how do you like Victoria? What? It's quieter than the Cal Calgary, but I think it is good for me. You know, my focus is on football, and uh, I think on this island I can just put my focus on football, and I think that's the most important. Great. And what what do you think you're going to be bringing to the team this year? Um, yeah, no, I, I like to be, I, I like to talk a lot, help my teammates. You know, I'm I'm, I'm a leader for myself. You know, I want to help the team. I've, I've speed. I have a good left feet. You know, I want to make assists. I want to maybe put in goals in it. You know, so that's some standards what I put for myself. You know, and I can that I can help the team with that. I think. Great. Well, it's very good talking to you. Thanks so much for stopping yes. by. Thank you. I'm here with Gennaro Daniels and uh, DJ. How did you feel you played today? I think I feel like I could play today. We played good today. The whole team played good today. First half was good. And Second how do you feel? Uh, are, are you feel like everybody's gelling? I mean, you got the new guys, some of the older guys. Yeah, it's a little bit find the find the find the the right the right things, you know. But we're improving, and uh, there's the first game, the first of four, and then uh, we go into the season. And and what are you looking for this season? I know you kind of got thrown into it last season. Yeah. You know, we we, we lost a Diaz, and you kind of had to step in there. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you feel you're going to do this year? Uh, the only thing is I want to help the team. Goals, assists, play good for the team, give good energy. That's the most important, I think. And uh, you got the new guy coming on, uh, Easton Ongaro. Yeah. Uh, last year he was playing for Edmonton and you can play against him. How do you think he's fitting in? I think he's going to fit good in. We, I think we can, make, uh, we, can, we can make a difference in the league. We're both tall, we can score. So they have to be ready this, this year. Yeah, so this year I think uh, is probably the first year we have so much height available on offense. Yeah. In past years, it's been uh, just yourself. And uh, then, let's, let's put it this way, our average height, you, I think you brought our average height up by about six inches. <laughs> yeah, six three. <laughs> yeah, so mm -hmm. there you go. Um, I'm, I'm just asking, I was just speaking earlier to, uh, to uh, Bradley, and uh, a fellow Dutchman, and uh, I was asking him how he felt about training in the Netherlands versus here. So you had some of that when you were younger. Yeah. So, what would you say is the biggest difference between training in the Netherlands and training here? Mm, I would say I like I think the intensity of the trainings. I hear I'm, I'm a bit more like rough, and there is like calm, but train good also. But here is like I think most the intensity intensity of the of the training. Well, that's good. And and how do you find uh, working with Jamie Merriman? Is he good coach? 
coach. Good coach. He know that. Good coach. <laughs> good coach. Now he, he helped me a lot this year. When I came here, I came here as I, I didn't know anything about the league. So he, he's trying to trying to put me in the right place, and I found it. So uh, this year I'm ready. That's great. And has there been anybody, uh, any of the new new guys, uh, that are surprising you, or you're looking forward to playing with? Uh, everybody. I like to play with everybody. A, a very good diplomatic answer. Yeah. Well done. Well, thanks very much, TJ. Good luck in this season. Thank you. Thanks Thank you. Much. All right, I'm here with Emil Gazdov, uh, a keeper, I guess we could say starting keeper, hopefully. Yep, you, yeah, you can say that. That's where you're going to be, hopefully, right? Hopefully, yeah, that's, yeah, my, that's my goal. And how did it feel stepping in after uh, last year? I mean, uh, Callum was a big presence. He's obviously moved on. Now he's yeah. going to be playing in Vancouver. And how do you feel about stepping in the, between the pipes? I'm ready. Always have been, always will be. Uh, even last season, whenever I needed to come in, I was ready. And this year is finally my chance to show I can be number one. Excellent. And I'm just going to take it full on. And yeah, show that show that was all the training, all the hard work is, is meant to be. And and I got to say, it, it looks uh, from a sideline perspective like we're building a really great back line. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of a couple of returning guys, some a couple of new guys. How do you feel that defensive unit's working out? Really good. Yeah, so far in training, they mesh well. Chemistry is good. Everyone's on the same line. Work hard with Armando. He's kind of more on the defensive side of things. And yeah, even though some new players are here and some older players. Honestly, after the first week or two, you couldn't really tell the difference. Mesh well, and yeah, it's going to be a solid back line this year. Hopefully, Excellent. many less goals to come. Well, and, that's, and I think uh, from the fan perspective, again, that's what we want to hear. Yeah, Because it, it seemed like uh, occasionally we were leaking a little bit, but uh, I, overall, we're, we're looking forward to a push for the, for the title this year of, again, Of course, right? yeah, that's where we belong. That's where we got to go back to be. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Now, um, previous to last year, uh, you spent a little bit of a loan spell in Germany, right? Yes. Uh, Nuremberg, Nuremberg, right? Nuremberg, yes. And uh, how was that? It was great, an amazing experience. Uh, part of me always wanted to go to Germany, mm -hmm. whether it be just training or being on a team, just to see the way they train. You know, top to some of the top goalkeepers in the world come from Germany, and I got to see firsthand exactly why that is. Yeah. So, would you say is, is there anything particular you're bringing back from that experience to, to play here in this league? Yeah, uh, different style of play, different way of seeing different plays. And honestly, just experience. Experience matters a lot for goalkeeping. And I might have, might be young, but I still do have a lot of experience um, for my age, I'd say, than a lot more people around my age. So I'll just be taking that in. And also with Danny, new goalie coach from Barcelona. Barcelona is in Europe. Similar, similar style of things. So a lot of things we do in training. He's telling me you should be here, this and that. And I'm there. I'm there because uh, I've seen it before. So it's good. It's a, yeah. That's great. Now it's been a bit of a long off season, four months. What have you been up yeah. to? Honestly, not much. Oh, I wish I was up to more. Uh, just I'm over in Vancouver off season. It's my family, so not much. Training every day by myself. Uh, hanging with friends, family. Not too much exciting stuff. To, not to not a lot of world travel for you. No, no. Yeah. I had some plans, but they fell through. So <laughs> unfortunately, no. But well, that's all right. Uh, Maybe uh, you guys can do well this season. You'll have some Champions League in the future. Maybe some traveling then. Hopefully, yeah. That'd be great to go back to that. And, yeah. uh, do some, some more traveling. Excellent. Well, thanks very much for talking to us. Worries. Appreciate thanks it. So much, yeah. Good thanks luck on the season. We'll do. Thank, Thank you. you. This has been Ted Godwin at Centennial Stadium. We'll see you next time when you hear the noise.